Fair spoiler free reviews of the newest films. Vaughn on movies. Brought to you by Gamefly. For a special offer, go to freeforgamers.info and enter promo code 10 day. Veteran character actor Danny Trejo takes a rare turn as a lead in Machete, playing the eponymous ex-federale hellbent on destruction. Naturally, he has a vendetta with a drug lord named Torres, Steven Seagal pretending not to be Asian for a change. But Machete is also caught up in a vast conspiracy involving illegal immigration led by Senator McLaughlin, played by Robert De Niro, which has him on the run from the law. Helping Machete dispense justice are a taco vendor named Luce, Michelle Rodriguez, who happens to be the leader of the network, a group of freedom fighters, and Special Agent Sartana, Jessica Alba. Hey, I'm a nice guy, so I'm going to save you guys some trouble by announcing publicly that I'm not going to read any of the comments pertaining to my video review of Machete, because I know how this is going to turn out. The world's toughest movie critic. Hey, my videos have a lot of jump cuts. That's because I can't afford a teleprompter, nor am I a good enough actor to remember the lines I just wrote myself. Robert Rodriguez, on the other hand, has everything he could need to make a good movie. And instead, he relies on shock value as though he's acting out his teenage fantasies. What really has me confused is how to identify Machete. It's not funny enough to be a spoof or a dark comedy, though Cheech Marin was enjoyable, and I did like Machete's texting policy. It's also too over the top with CGI blood and cartoonish behavior to really be called an action movie. In fact, I'm astonished it didn't get an NC-17. The political message is just as loud as the carnage, and the doors are left wide open for writing mistakes. Let's be honest, Danny Trejo is not leading man material, but here he shines compared to the likes of Jessica Alba and in a smaller role, Lindsay Lohan. But you know what, Lindsay? I guess being a strung out waste of space isn't much of a stretch for you. People want to ride Uwe Boll for making schlock, but Rodriguez gets praise from the same viewers because he embraces the fact that he has no idea how to make a good movie. Walking away from Machete, I learned that it's impossible to purposely make the worst movie ever made. That's because there's always going to be a large number of simpletons ready to praise it for digitally added grain, trapped hair, nude women, and dismembered bodies. I don't believe in the so bad it's good theory, and even if I did, it's the unintentionally bad movies that get the belly laughs. I'm giving Machete a star and a half, mostly for Cheech. I'll see you guys next time. Dance.